Hello everyone, welcome to Mean Lab Studies. In today's video, we are going to solve two more problems, that is 3 and 4. In our previous video, we have already solved 1 and 2. These are the questions that are mostly likely to be asked in data engineer and data analyst interviews. I have collected a data having employee named as employee. You can see here the data is having uh, 22 employees details in an organization having employee ID, employee name, age, department and salary. Okay, and if you consider here is the department, there are engineering, marketing, sales, HR and finance departments. We have total of five departments. We have different aged employees are there. You can see their salaries. Okay, now we'll start solving these problems. Find the employee details whose earnings are higher than the employee who joined before him in the same department. Okay, in order to find out a employee who joined before him or after him on the basis of their joining date, right? So if you know their joining dates, then we can easily find out who joined before, who joined after. But if you don't have that data like joining dates are not given, then we have to find by using the employee ID series. So now I'm assuming that these employee IDs are on the basis of their joinings. Okay, for example, if you consider we have in engineering department, Amit Sharma joined as a first employee. Okay, now if you consider this one, I mean, Joshi joined after uh, him, I mean Sharma, right? His uh, employee ID is 6. Okay, so in the engineering department, he is the one who joined first and he is the one who joined after. Likewise, if you consider marketing, he is the one who joined first and he is the one who joined after. I mean, if you consider these numbers, the next two numbers, I mean, employee IDs are going to increase. I mean, our employees who joined after will always be increasing order. Okay, likewise, I am considering for this problem to solve. Okay, now we will solve. Selecting all uh, employee details and I am going to find out who joined before I employ, right? So we have to use window function to find out who joined before or in order to find out a day before details from current date. Okay, so you have to use lag. Lag of what? What we have to find out? Lag of their employee ID, right? Or employee ID or what? Here on the basis of employee ID we are finding, we are going to find out the salary, right? Salary who ends higher than the previous one so you have to use salary of previous employee who joined before right so you have to use salary as lag i mean we are extracting a salary of employee who joined before a current employee okay so we have to use over now on the basis of their employee rate right? so you have to use order by employee id okay now from employee See, we are not using any windows. So, if you have not used any windows as partition by, then it, it will automatically or by default it is take it as single window. So, if you execute this one, see, you are getting a one employee who joined before in organization wise, not in department wise, right? See, 7500 is the one, I mean, first employee who joined in this organization, right? Now, before him, there is no employee. So, that is why it is returning null. So, likewise, if you consider like this, for 22, who joined before Mahindra? Mahindra salary is this one. I mean, this column is nothing but previous employee salary. Right. And this is organization wide, not in department wise. Right. See. If you consider Rajit Bhatta, you can see here the previous employee who joined is, is Sanjay Kumar, whose salary is 72,000. You can see here. Okay. For him, I think you can see here for everyone, is the for See, before, I mean, previous employee who joined his salary, right? Previous employee salaries, okay? Now, what we have to find out? Previous employee in particular department. So, you have to use partition by department. So, if you use a partition by department means, it will be dividing into number of windows as the number of departments, okay? So, that you will be knowing who joined before him, okay? If you execute this one, you will understand it. See, in engineering department, he is the one who joined first and there is no employee before. So, it is returning previous employee, there is no employee before, so it is returning null. See, for 6, Antish Joshi who joined after him, I mean Amit Sharma. So, for him, Amit Sharma who joined before, that is Amit Sharma, whose salary is 75,000, right? Likewise, you, you can use partition by, then you will get for each department who joined before, who joined after. Okay? For example, you can see here, see, one employee ID is the one who joined first. Six is the second person. Eleven is the third person. Likewise, you can see here. 
this is the order right order of employees who join on the basis of their joining dates likewise you can see here for each department 5 10 15 20 it is in order i mean on the basis of their joining dates are they are assigning their employees okay now you can see all this data okay now what we have to find out we have to find out employees salaries i mean employee details whose salary is greater than their previous employee salary in each department so if you use a salary is greater than this previous employee salary then you will get employee details whose earning is higher than their previous employee salary date right? now what i'm going to do i am assigning this as city now selecting all details from this data i mean what we have we need only employee ID, employee name age department and salary from cte where we have to find out salary is greater than i mean those who salary those whose salary is greater than previous employee salary right so we can assign this as c dot employee id c dot employee name c dot age c dot department c dot salary from cte i am aliasing this as c now if you execute this query then you have to get a employee salary is higher than two previous employee salary in the same department now if you execute that you will get what are the records that you will get as output see this is the salary whose previous employee who don't know so you should not be compared with nulls with not nulls so it is not returns now if you compare this 70,000 it is 75,000 it is not greater than this is also not greater than now if you see 72,000 it is greater than the previous employee salary in this department today now if you consider 75,000 this is 72,000 this is in the same department that is engineering department so you have to get 16 and 21 as output okay now in the second department that is finance department for him it is null so it should not be compared so it shouldn't be output okay now for 95,000 it is 90,000 so it will return 10 will be returns 85,000 it won't return 91,000 it will return because of is this current employee salary is higher than previous employee salary so you will get 20 10 right 16 and 21 now we'll see we, similarly you can see for remaining okay okay now you can see here 16 21 10 20 these are also follows the same thing okay now if you see these are the employee details whose ending is higher than the previous employees salary in the same department okay i hope you understand this now we will solve this fourth problem that is find the employees ending more than the department's senior employees ending okay now we see the data first okay now if you see here we have different age persons in each department so what is the question find the employees whose ending is more than the department's seniors employees ending so you have to return employees details whose ending is higher than their department wise seniors persons employee i mean seniors employees salary okay now you have to know who are the senior employees in each department first and then you have to find out their salaries and you have to compare with the salaries with their i mean seniors employee salaries okay now what you have to return you have to return employees whose earning is higher than that those particular i mean seniors salary okay for that i'm also using uh here i'm also using a window functions okay and that will be useful or that is a bit easy to solve first we'll see uh, details of who's is uh, who is uh, senior in each department okay senior on the basis of not on considering experience here i'm just considering their ages okay now uh, i'm considering e dot star i'm collecting all the data and also i'm returning maximum of age over from employee okay so that you will see uh, what is the age this is the maximum age in organization wide right not on department wise so you have to find out departments wise see find the employees whose ending is whose ending is more than 
more than their department seniors, not an organization wise. So you have to use department wise, right? So you have to use partition by department. Now you will get on the each department who is the senior persons that will be returning a senior persons each C. In engineering department, if you see here 30, 32, 28, 33, 30. See, among these five values, 33 is the senior person. So, Sanjay Kumar is the senior person. So, it is returning senior person's age. So, I am just returning that as senior age. Okay. See, in each department, it is returning senior person's age, right? Right. Now, we will we'll filter out this data to, I mean, those particular employees having higher age i mean seniors data okay now filter it out from this data as i'm just considering this as cde i mean i'm filtering to a seniors data select star from cte where c dot age equal to c dot seniors age i mean i'm filtering out employees who is seniors now if you execute this one see these are we have five departments right in each department who is the senior likewise it is written right these are the details like in each department each department seniors details now what i have to do i have to join this table with our employee table on the basis of their i mean i'm comparing with each department and also checking with their salaries these are the salaries of related to senior employees right now what i'm going to do i'm going to considering all details from employee and joining that employee from employee and this department that is i'm considering i would like to consider this as ct2 so you can see here this ct2 is nothing but seniors details okay now i'm going to join this senior table with employee table okay select i mean collecting employee details and from employee e and joining this cte to i am referring this as c on the basis of what on the basis of the department i mean c if you join on the basis of department wise you will be joining with each employee id in each department okay so engineering will be joining with engineering persons in i mean we have five persons in engineering so it will be joining with all those five persons and you are going to compare with this salary with those salaries i mean that employee salary is greater than this employee salary okay this is nothing but salary of seniors person now if you compare with department i mean now you are going to join on the basis of the department and also e dot salary is nothing but employee salary is greater than the Senior, I mean seniors persons, I am considering this as C, so I am considering this as C dot salary. C, this means you are going to join on the basis of each department and you are going to check this condition. Okay, now this is the employee salary is greater than, this salary is nothing but C and that means C means seniors persons salary. So, if you execute this one, C, you can get, I employ details, I mean whose earnings are higher than the senior person's salary in each department, okay? Likewise, you can see these are the details whose earnings is higher than the department-wise senior person's salary, okay? To check whether this is correct or wrong, we'll check that. 1 and 21 and 19 and 88 are returning, right? See, uh, 1 and 21, we'll check first. See, uh, in engineering department, we'll will order it by engineering i mean department now you can see see in engineering department who is the senior person that is sanjay his salary is 72000 now i should get greater than 72000 those employee details i need right for that what you should get this is also same employee in same department right 75000 and this 75000 right so this employee ID is 1 and this employee ID is 21. That's what you are getting it right. You can see here 1 and 21. Now 19 and 8. We'll check that as well. See 
19 19 is the hr department in hr department who is the highest employee i mean 41 he is the senior employee his salary is 62000 now you have to get employee whose earning is higher than 62000 in hr department see 60000 61000 and 63000 so this is the only one employee whose earnings is greater than 62000 so that's why it is written in 19 okay in case of 8 see here in sales department who is the senior person that is 43 Okay, I mean Manoj Adho, whose salary is eighty-three thousand. Now you have to get a employee whose earning is higher than this eighty-three thousand. Who are getting in sales department? Eighty-five thousand only, right? So his ID is eight. Okay. So you, we can ensure that our solution is correct, right? I hope you understand this problem. Thanks for watching.